Oh, first is Tom Cruise and Keanu Reeves. Now I've got to compete with this guy? That's right, there's a new white samurai in town. Only this time, he's based on real historical figure William Adams, a British samurai. I'm not sure he really did any of this. But hey, history. Let's get the obvious out of the way first. This game is going to be compared a lot to a Dark Souls game. And honestly, I don't think that's a great comparison. The controls are a lot tougher. I found myself blaming the game a lot more than blaming my ability. And mainly that's because I'm so used to Dark Souls. I tried to play it like a Dark Souls game and that's why I suffered. I found myself often doing this thing where I would be locked onto a target and I would try to move away to gain some stamina. And my, my character would turn entirely, which was odd. You could still block from a turned position, but if an enemy attacks you quick enough and gets one of those backslashes in, you're really going to pay for it because backslash damage is, is high. It's probably going to kill you in one hit. The layout of the level was quite tough to find my way around. Maybe you don't start in a forest area in the actual game, but there was no real landmarks to pinpoint my location. Sometimes it got a little bit confusing. Maybe I'm just stupid. Only a few times did I touch the red beacons, the graves of other players who had died, and it would give you an option to cast somebody into your game. I don't know if this is AI or another player. I'm assuming it's AI and a character would appear. And I, I mean, maybe I'm terrible. I didn't beat any of them. I kept dying and I just got frustrated and stopped. But unlike Dark Souls, where there would just be this small red mark on the floor, these things are quite a substantial thing to look at. There's blades, red glowing blades all over the place. And it detracted from the game a little bit. You can't look at this scenery without seeing these things everywhere. They were just all over the place, which is kind of like having a beautiful walk through a forest only to have Facebook posts pinned to all of the trees. It just kind of ruined it for me. The AI seems to be completely dumb at points. How do they not notice I'm there? I had this situation where I got chased by all of these guys and I ran onto a ladder and this happened. If I died, I, I would sometimes just run past guys to get back to my soul, take away some of that stress of getting back to where I was or the annoyance of having to repeat a challenge. You cannot run away from enemies in this game. They will just keep following you. It doesn't matter what you do, they will keep following you until you kill them, which kind of just got a little bit annoying if I'd done this same bit too many times. The boss wasn't really that difficult. I really struggled to get to him and then I beat the boss on the first attempt because he was a lot easier than just the average guy. Maybe I just didn't learn the key to beating the average grunt or maybe I just didn't enjoy beating him that much so I didn't want to. So the game comes with two options for how to play. Action mode or movie mode. Movie mode enables you to keep the resolution high, keep the graphics looking nice but the frame rate will suffer, or action mode has the high frame rate but lowers the resolution. It's great that a game would let you decide that. I found the game much easier on the 60 frames per second option, action mode, with the lower quality looking graphics. But I it seemed like a major downgrade in visuals to me, which kind of sucks. That couldn't be fixed, because I think this game is a while before being released, but still, kind of sucks. The character design is a little boring, I think. It's just a little bit dull. He looks a little bit like The Witcher. There's going to be inevitable comparisons to Geralt. I feel like there could have been something more interesting done with his design. I like that you can change between stances, but it's a real shame how kind of useless they are. I changed up between them and tried out the different ones, but spent most of the demo just in the middle start, which is, I believe, Chudan no Kamai. Oh yeah. I think the upper, the up stance was slower, but did more damage. 
The lower one was faster, but did less damage, and the middle one was a better all-rounder. So I just stayed with the middle one. The stamina gauge seemed to run out maybe a little bit too quickly. When your stamina does run out, your character freezes. He gets overwhelmed and stops for a matter of seconds, but that's plenty of time to get killed. Not being able to do your attack, you actually can't do anything, including moving away. Even in Dark Souls, you can walk. I just felt like at times this game was trying to be hard, as opposed to trying to be a challenge. I liked some of the things with the swordsmanship. Shaking off the sword, chiburi, before doing noto, putting the sword back. That was good. I liked that. You've got kind of chudan and gerdan stances. It was nice to have those stances in there as an option, but I just really want to have a reason to need to use them. Maybe where an enemy is holding their blade lower, it would make sense for me to have my blade higher. Something like that. Maybe that's in there, maybe I just didn't notice, but if it is, it should have been explained to me as a player so that I could use it in that way. Maybe playing this hot off the heels of Dark Souls 3 wasn't a great choice, and maybe this game, trying to be like a Souls game, wasn't the right choice either.